Well, if you watched the Emmy Awards, and I'm assuming that if you have a brain that works, you didn't watch it. Well, you would have seen RuPaul and a very controversial statement made by the host of RuPaul's Drag Race, which won an award, and yes, it won an award, an Emmy for Best Competition Series. Uh, this statement has a lot of people talking today. We're going to get into it. First, guys, if you could, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So RuPaul's Drag Race, yes, it wins the Emmy for Best Competition Show. RuPaul, who's 60 years old now, by the way. Ruru is getting up there now, okay? During the acceptance speech is when this all went down. Rue got the award and said, and for all you kids watching out there, there is a tribe that is waiting for you. Come on over to Mama Rue. <laughs> now, now, now. A lot of people try to say that this is just common language by RuPaul. RuPaul calls everybody on the show kids. That's what Ruru references them as. Now, you have to be, you know, at least, uh, apparently, at least 19 years of age to be on the show. And they have said that, well, RuPaul has, has referred to these 19-year-olds before uh, as kids. So, that, that no doubt, that's exactly, you know, that was the aim here in the speech. But, 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 Ruru has had plenty of interaction uh, with minor children, okay? Those that are uh, aspiring performers like Rue. So was this a, uh, oh, I don't know, a uh, almost a, a, a summoning, if you will? Calling them to come on over. There's a tribe that's waiting for you. I'm going to break that down more in just a second, what I think that tribe really is all about. First, guys, if you could consider making a generous donation here to our ministry. As we're demonetized here on YouTube, they don't support what we do. If you enjoy the daily content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines, trying to get people to Jesus Christ through this ministry, we have PayPal or Patreon for you below. Even just 5 bucks a month on Patreon gets you bonus content. Also, we include the links to the YouTube videos to make sure you get all the alerts when the new content arrives. You can comment their censorship free. Send me direct messages. Patreon, a great way to stay up to date with everything that I'm doing. Also, big reminder, sub to me on Rumble. That's our backup in case we're kicked off of YouTube. We're already posting there. That channel is really starting to grow, so go over and check it out. All the links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. And for those of you thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So this whole thing about the tribe. At first, the Emmys, by the way, the ratings continue to plunge. The... Uh, the hypocrisy of, of the Emmys as a whole uh, this year. I, I won't even get into all of that, but it, it was a sideshow, okay? But this whole thing about tribes, okay? There's a tribe that's waiting for you. You think tribe, you also think of cult, right? And we often associate cult with meaning, well, groups of very, very bad people. And... There is no doubt in my mind what, and you got to read between the lines a little bit here because obvious reasons, uh, a recruitment process to a tribe of what RuPaul does for a living, no doubt, completely evil, completely devious, completely sinful. And why not go after those kids? Now, some might say, well, I, there's kids probably weren't even watching. You don't know that. But a lot of parents might have had this on in the background. These kids see this or they hear about these stories of these other younger kids that are going off doing the whole RuPaul thing. Don't think for one second that they might not get some sort of an inspiration to do this. Because they're young. They don't know any better. They're influenced not just by TV, but when they're in school. I mean, with everything that they're around, entertainment, movies. It's hard to escape it if you're a kid, unless you're in a home 
that is grounded in biblical principles and you actually have parents that will sit down with their kids and teach them the word of God. If that's not happening, there's a good chance these kids could get essentially pulled into that tribe. You don't want to be a part of that tribe. You don't. Very, very creepy, too. The way that Ruru had, had almost summoned the children out there watching. A tribe that's waiting for you. Come on to Mama Ru. It's sick. It's wrong on every level. But it's a tactic that's very common amongst these people. They know what they're doing. They know who to target. They know who to go after. It's all part of a bigger picture. I have documented it. You guys, if you haven't, you know, checked out some of the podcasts over on my Patreon, you should go check those out. I really do deep dives into this stuff on there. We got over 30 different podcasts up there where I talk about all sorts of things I could never talk about uh, on the uh, on the tube here, okay? You know why. So hopefully, parents, if you're smart, you will take your kids away from this. Don't let them be any part of this tribe that Rue is calling you to. I will tell you, however, a tribe that you do want to be a part of. This is a good tribe. It's the tribe of Jesus Christ. The lion of the tribe of Judah. That's why we do these videos. We talk about the prophetic news headlines going on around the world because we are in the last days and Jesus Christ is coming back soon. The question is, do you know him as your Lord and Savior? Are you ready to meet him as your Lord and Savior? Because he's coming soon, but you have to make him the Lord of your life. Again, this is a tribe you want to be part of. You want to be in the family of God. That should be the only true tribe that you want to be in. Because this world has nothing to offer you. This world belongs to the devil. But God has something more. I'll lead you in a prayer right now. You can put the prayer in your own words. I'll give you the steps you need in order to bring that prayer before the Lord. The first thing that you want to do is acknowledge that you're a sinner. That's something that we all are. But what did God do? He gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of those sins. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from a lifestyle or a habit, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you. He'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God, you will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more for you guys on this down below. Let me know your thoughts on the Ruru comments. And don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.